This is Expand Your World, How to Open a Save Map in the Using Interactive Maps in the Classroom to Promote Student Inquiry video series. And we just finished exploring um, the population density layered map. And what we're going to do now is I'm going to show you how to open a saved map. Um, I'm going to show you one, first of all, that is a good one. And I have it saved under a shortcut. So in your URL or address bar, I want you to add the URL goo.gl forward slash capital F, capital G, capital Y, capital S, capital S, 4. By doing that, you'll open up this pre-saved map, and you will probably quickly learn that it is the last month of earthquakes. And this was a map created uh, by Esri. It keeps up-to-date information within the last month. Uh, you can see quakes that are 2.5 by depth or that they have a magnitude 2.5 um, in depth or more. So you're going to see basically the map around the world. Uh, this would be a great way for students to start to study uh, fault lines and earthquakes and all those different geologic uh, phenomenas. And what we're going to do now is I want to show you how to change, you're in the legend, let's change it to the contents. And we basically have two layers on here right now. And you could take one of those layers off. Like if I just wanted to see the magnitude here, I could uncheck the depth one. Notice how it changed. And I would just be looking at the map right now of all the magnitude uh, earthquakes. And what I can do now, I could put that layer back on, I could flip-flop them, but I want to show you that basically now we can start to look at some different uh, earthquakes. And you'll notice I clicked on where I remember recently in Alaska there were a lot of earthquakes. And notice this is one of 1,171. It gives me a date, it gives me a depth, and it gives me a magnitude. Um, and it says it was off Kodiak Island here. Now I notice that there's a little arrow for a next feature. If I click on that, this gives me, it moves me slightly over, but in the same region, uh, January 18th. Again, I get a depth, a magnitude. This was Chirikoff Island. And you can start to look at how many of them, how recent some of these various earthquakes were. So great way to study for students. Um, if you want to be able to find more maps like this and use with your students, in the address bar you are going to just go to arcgis.com and at the top you're going to go select top left gallery and you'll notice there are some maps in here. Um, they do give you some different categories. Um, I even like like the historical maps. And we could start to look at some maps. Um, what did North America look like in 1786? And these might be some good ways uh, to start having your students discover, you know, maps. Look at, I live in Michigan, look at what Michigan looked like in 1786. So, a uh, great way to ask your students some questions, how things changed, maybe, you know, when you're studying the American um, Revolution and the evolution after that, how we evolved. Uh, great ways to start getting your students asking questions.